Hi everybody, it's Miss Amy again, here to share another fun children's book with you. Today's book is called The Bugliest Bug, and it's written by Carol Diggory Shields and illustrated by Scott Nash. This looks like it's going to have some great pictures in it. Let's dig on in. Now remember, I don't own the rights to this book. I'm just sharing this book with you. Oh, and look at this on the first page. It's a bunch of grass. And over there, there's some little bugs hiding in the grass. Hmm. Let's see. Do you have six legs? Let's count that out, boys and girls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. Do you have six legs? Do you wiggle or crawl? Could you be the bugliest bug of them all? Trying to work on my picture showing. A contest for insects. News buzzed through the air. Bugs slithered and swarmed from here and from there. Down by the pond, young dames fly. Dilly said, I'm a plain bug, neither clever nor frilly. But while I won't win, I would still like to see who the bugliest bug turns out to be. <laughs> we'll see how this picture showing works. Fireflies lit up the stage with their lights. Boys and girls, the fireflies I heard were already out when it's warm and sunny outside, so keep your eyes out, especially around bushes for those fireflies. Glowworms glowed softly, a beautiful sight. A lacy white curtain hung from the trees and billowed and swayed in the warm evening breeze. The clearing was humming with bugs of all sizes, flittery, jittery, hoping for prizes. I bet you there'll be lots of boys and girls next weekend looking in their Easter eggs for prizes. There were more bugs than Dilly could ever have dreamed from Tiny to Sam's to fat termite queens. Some had great pinch, uh, pinchers and some had proud horns. Some looked like branches or flowers or thorns. Look at all the different bugs in this picture. Do you see a bug you like? Hmm, I think if I had to pick one, I'd like this bumblebee or maybe this one that looks like a big old buff ladybug. Probably not a ladybug, though. I think those would be my favorite. Oh, well, I'm pretty fond of praying mantises. <laughs> I guess that could be a grasshopper, too. Not exactly sure. Dilly crept closer as the biggest judge grinned. Sweet little bugs, let our contest begin. How odd, Dilly thought. Those judges have wings. They are tied to their backs with gossamer strings. That is strange. You. Click beetles clacked in, whirly gigs whirled, crickets sang solo, and swallow tails twirled. A ladybug curtsies, curtsied, tumble bugs flipped. 
The judges applauded and then lip, licked their lips. <laughs> Sammy doesn't have very big lips to lick. My top lip is very small. <laughs> the judges looked shifty. So Dilly kept squinting. Then sure enough, she spied their fangs glinting. She yelled when we've been flam, no, flim flam bamboozled, distracted. Those judges aren't insects, she cried. They're arachnids. Do you know what an arachnid is? I know what an arachnid is, but I will wait and see if the next page tells us. Otherwise, I will share it with you. You probably could tell by the picture, though. The big judge hissed softly. Too late for you all. It's curtain time now, and it started to fall. Folks, he continued, we liked all your acts, but we think we will like you much better as snacks. The bugs froze in fear. This looked like the end. Uh oh. Can you tell that the arachnids are spiders? And that white curtain they were talking about? I think that's their web. Uh oh. But Dilly thought quickly and shouted out, friends! There's only one way to get out of this mess. Each insect must do what each insect does best. So charge, yelled a squadron of swift soldier flies and bombarded beetles took to the skies. Dilly whirled up through a hole in the net. It's working, it's working. We'll beat those creeps yet. See, boys and girls, sometimes we don't think that we're very special. And sometimes we don't think we can do things on our own. And it's true, sometimes we can't do things on our own. But when we work together, we can become a team and use our strengths to help each other out. The army ants marched and the manatees prayed. Keep fighting, called Dilly, and don't be afraid. Actually, it's mantises. <laughs> the mantises prayed because they're praying mantises. <laughs> Keep fighting, called Dilly, and don't be afraid. Then the stink bugs united gave off their worst smells. Pay you. We give up, the spiders yelled. Stink bugs. Oh, it's those ladybug looking things. The ones that I said, oh, I like those. Those look like buff ladybugs. Look at them getting off that stink. Pew! Stinky stink bugs. They were still mighty pretty. They scuttled away. Hurrah! cried the bugs, giving high sixes mm. and fuzzy warm hugs. The cicada piped up. It's time for a speech. Attention, my friends, he said with a screech. Cicadas are the ones that you hear in the trees a lot here. Um, I don't ever remember noticing them much in California. I noticed them in Arizona, but here you definitely hear them in the south. They're in the trees during the summer. The contest is with the locust. There's cicadas and locusts. I, they might be different. They might be the same. You might need to Google that and check up on Miss Amy. I'm not a big bug expert. The contest is over and we have a winner. Without this young damsel, we'd all be dinner. She might be young and she might be small, but Dilly's the bugliest bug of us all. Aw, remember? She didn't think that she could ever win because she didn't think she was very big or very special. But without Dilly, 
They would have all been supper. The end. Thank you, boys and girls, for enjoying this very special, fun book with me. And always remember, teamwork is great. And no matter how you feel about yourself, you are important and you can do a lot of things, especially when you use teamwork. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow.